I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of power electronics. In this video, I'm going to discuss what do we mean by voltage controllers? Uh, what are the different types of voltage controllers? Then the important parameters to be considered for the selection of voltage controllers and a few applications. So moving on to the definition, what do we mean by voltage controller? So voltage controller is nothing but it's a power electronic device uh, which will convert the fixed AC. Okay, we have fixed AC into uh, variable AC. Okay, variable AC. That means uh, it's a thyristor based control device. It can be like SCR or triac. Uh, that will convert the fixed alternating voltage into variable alternating uh, variable variable alternating voltage without uh, with, without changing frequency. That's most important factor. Okay, so like uh, frequencies remains unchanged. Frequency constant. I can write like a frequency will be constant. Correct. So such kind of devices are generally called as uh, AC voltage controller. Basically, uh, if I talk about the supply frequency in India, it is 50 hertz. If I talk about like a supply frequency of US, that will be 60 hertz. Okay, the supply frequency remains unchanged. Uh, according to like, uh, we can say uh, like uh, based on the power flow, like uh, based on what kind of uh, supply we are going to use, uh, there are two types of voltage controllers. It is divided into two types. One is single phase AC voltage controller and three phase AC voltage controller. There are two types of single phase uh, voltage controller. One is half wave control, other one is full wave control. In that half wave control, we have one thyristor and one uncontrolled device. Where full wave control, we are having uh, two thyristors. Okay. So that is the peculiarity of half wave control, uh, half wave AC voltage controller and a full wave AC voltage controller. Uh, there are different applications of voltage controller. That means fixed AC that is going to convert variable AC without changing the frequency. So in the domestic and industrial heating, we are going to use like AC voltage controller. So like a uh, light control, dimmer, you can say like a dimmer, light dimmer. So we can use like a, a triac, triac, diac combinations. Okay, use triac, diac combination uh, to control the brightness of the lamp. Similarly, we can use like a, a index, induction motor, speed control of induction motor drive, a Kramer drive, Sherbius drive, those things you can use. Similarly, starting of induction motor. So we call it as like a soft starter. So these are the various applications of AC voltage controller. Fine. Uh, now we'll be discussing about what are the parameters to be considered for the selection of AC voltage controller. So we need to have the following parameters such as output power, product of output to voltage into current. Similarly, RMS output to voltage. It is a DC equivalent to AC. We can say like a, what is a DC value uh, corresponding to AC. Similarly, output frequency. Anyway, you no need to take care of output frequency because the frequency remains unchanged. Uh, it, that will be considered only for cyclo converters. That is a special type of converter. So based on the frequency changes, cyclo converter. At that time, we will consider about frequency. TST, total harmonic distortion. Like we will be checking about the distortion level. And we will be considering crust factor and the harmonic factor, HF. Similarly, form factor, RMS value by average value, ripple factor, the uh, like a VRMS by uh, VAC. Okay, uh, RMS value, uh, like uh, we'll be considering like uh, how much amount of uh, AC, uh, con AC content is present inside uh, like a DC output. That is called a ripple factor. So these are the parameters which we are going to consider for the selection of AC voltage controller. So that's all about the fundamentals of AC voltage controller. So we discussed about what is AC voltage controller. Uh, classification uh, then uh, we discussed about the parameters and a few applications in the next video i'm going to talk about like a single phase ac voltage controller with the resistive load and inductive load r load and r load so if you have any queries please put up in the comment box happy learning have a great day thank you